I'm start over. Arnold. No, we're, we're like jumping right into it. <laughs> Not all realtors are the same, right? Right. Until until you, I don't really know what the day in the life and the the fight of a realtor is. Me neither. Until I became one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, mean, I I was the worst. I I I I was not n- nice about it. You know, so, I had a, an impression of what a realtor is or does. So not all realtors are the same, right? Yes. But in the beginning, you didn't have uh, like a mentor in this or someone to show you. So. I could only imagine that you took from what you saw and experienced, and it was very much in line with what everyone else was doing. Then more Rachel, the person came to the forefront and Rachel, this, you know, the realtor took the back seat. And that's when you started to lead your business with your heart. Absolutely. Is that that like a good, that was like homework. (laughs) That was fabulous. Did you get that? Yeah, right, yeah we got it. Um, yeah, so, uh, yes. I mean, I started out of, and here's the benefit. I owned two properties before I became a realtor. So uh, I'd experienced what it was like to purchase a property, sell a property, and and then purchase again. So the three three different transactions. I did not have a good experience with that. And that's where that tagline came from because I'm like, wow, this can't be what it's supposed to be. I mean, you know, I've told you my story, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, I looked at 36 homes the first time that, that I, I bought a property and, and it was a really tough experience. So I knew that piece of it. What I didn't know is now, how do I get other people to come to me? How do, how do I find people who want to buy, buy houses? And yeah. so, and you're right. And again, We talked a little bit about what do you, anybody, what does anyone lack at the beginning? Confidence. And then once I did a couple transactions and had them under my belt, I had the confidence I could fill out the forms. I knew what the process was, uh, you know, offer this, this, you know, all the steps. Um, And now I could actually uh, tell more people what to do or how to do it and feel confident about it versus just assuming or guessing, right? At the beginning, you fake it till you make it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I remember uh, fresh out of like bartending school. I'm trying to find a place, and uh, I, I call one of my friends who's been bartending, and she goes, "Yeah, just say you've been bartending for two years." Right, right. <laughs> that's, that's what we say. They're like, yeah. say, "Say you know you you've been a homeowner for for two years, and and you know and that or you've been doing real estate for two years because I owned a home, and and yeah. and, and and I'd say it. It would be squeaky, I'd be like, "Well, yeah, yeah, yeah." Like you know how your voice goes up when you feel like an idiot. You're like, "I want to." You know, it's it like, you know, crawl away. You know, it's so bad. I was like, all right, this is stupid. But you, you looked yourself in the mirror every right. time and knew, all right, I got to get better. And get that's better. honestly, like, without knowing stories, it's that energy that you give off, right? Like, right. I'm going forward. Are you coming too? Right. Right. And right. I could, I don't want to say there are people who get left behind with that, but. Like, you, you got to know who I am. I'm going forward. <laughs> yeah, come along. <laughs> it's more fun this way. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, you can say you're scared. I can say I'm scared. We could have this powwow. But tomorrow, I'm taking another step. Right, like, I'm right. Into the shit.